So the Spring Rotation Planner is it's there and it, it's in Ireland now a number of years and it's it's simple guidelines on how to manage your grass and ensure that you have enough grass um, to feed your cows for the full first rotation from once you turn out until you target your in first rotation. So generally in, in Ireland we're, we're turning out cows somewhere between the, the 1st and the 15th of February. We have The Spring Rotation Planner works on that turnout date and end date. Um, and, and what it tells us is how much ground we need to graze on a daily and a weekly basis mm -hmm. and it gives us targets that we need to hit by the 1st of March and um, by St Patrick's Day and 100% then when you choose to finish. Um, so on a normal year we'd, we'd be hoping to get somewhere around 30% grazed um, from turnout in the first week of February until the 1st of March and um, somewhere around two-thirds or 66% grazed by St Patrick's Day and finish our first rotation somewhere in the region of the 4th to the 10th of April. In, in a normal year that's what we'd like to hit. Um, in the last couple of weeks weather has been extremely challenging farmers are finding it extremely difficult with huge deluges of uh, rainfall um, and ha animals have had to be housed so that 30% target by March 1st has on, on a lot of cases hasn't been hit because of the very poor weather um, and that's fine it hasn't been hit we need to readjust and make up that ground um, and keep monitoring our farm so if we didn't get that 30% grazed by the 1st of March farmers need to look at what they have grazed how much grass they have back coming back on their paddocks that they've grazed first and start readjusting their spring rotation planner from now on yeah. so they can get to that magic day without running out of grass so if you didn't get to 30% grazed now before you come to St Patrick's Day and you're still behind target you can afford to increase the amount of area that you're feeding your cows on a daily basis if you can get out so I know the start of this week and last week has been extremely wet but conditions are, are improving slightly at the moment and um, so there probably is an opportunity to get cows out even for a few hours a day to try and catch up in the area that we that we have targeted so if you were looking at targeting your in first rotation somewhere around the 7th of April um, and you didn't get what you have wanted grazed in February you need to monitor your farm and make sure that you have enough grass to get to that 7th of April date and if you have not enough grass coming back on those paddocks that are grazed you probably need to push your end date slightly based on the amount of grass that you have coming back so monitoring your farm cover particularly in March is an extremely important tool that needs to be so the spring rotation planner will give us our guidelines but it tells us nothing about the amount of grass that we have available on our farm at any given week so we do need to monitor our farm cover particularly in March and, and I would urge farmers to walk their farm at least three if not four times um, in March to look at the amount of grass that they have so when we're starting our second rotation we need an average farm cover of about 500 kilos dry matter per hectare um, once we start our second rotation in April and if we haven't got that 500 kilos at the start of the second rotation there's going to be an awful lot of additional supplement going into the into the system that might necessarily be needed um, and you will reduce overall growth rates because your farm cover is going to be very low and you're going to run around on very low covers so we need to target that 500 kilos and if we're not going to achieve that 500 kilos you need to extend your first rotation slightly and this is the time that we now, now need to start monitoring our farm cover.